today we are going to make Pucha Suraj, black eyed pea soup. Today we are going to make delicious Pujar Suraj. It means black eyed peas or black eyed bean soup. I think it's more like beans. Whatever. It looks like this. It's dry. It's so delicious. Um, this kind of soup, if you ever have a chance to go to visit Uyghur region, you can find this in Turpan. This is so popular, especially at the market. You can smell it from far away let's get started for this recipe we are going to use beef ribs you can also use uh, lamb and as you can see i we are going to chop up the meat and i already took off the ribs and let it uh, simmer after boiling let it simmer for about two hours together with this dry beans as you can see it looks like this it's already soft yummy and this is the color of the soup when you add the bone to the water and when it started to boil you will see some foam on the surface so you need to remove that After one and a half hour to two hours, we are going to fine chop the onion, tomato and the meat and add it to the soup as well. Let it boil for about half hour. I just add the fine chopped onion and meat. Now bring it to a boil. Peel the radish. If you see some foam like this, and if you want, you can remove them too. Add the white pepper and salt. I just add the radish to the soup and it looks really good. When it started, started to boil, I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit, let it boil slowly. And in the meanwhile, we are going to make dough. Add two pinches of salt. Add the water little by little. First, pour it into your pollen, spread it over the flour, and then mix. We are going to make beautiful smooth dough and it should be dense we are going to let the dough rest for about 10 to 15 minutes and don't forget to cover it with a damp towel set aside and i'm going to fine chop the garlic and cut the peppers for later for the soup
If you have a fresh coriander or cilantro, you can use this for as a topping. It smells so good. But this is optional. If you don't like coriander, you can skip this. After about 15 minutes, the dough is ready. Take it out. We are going to roll it out. Sprinkle some flour at the table, also on the top of the dough. Use rolling pin and roll the rolling pin on the dough. We are going to make beautiful and thin, smooth dough. Try to make a rectangle form. So try to don't make the wheat too white because the noodles should be not too long quite sure in this way they don't break turn it around Try to make a very even, beautiful dough because if you feel it like this, you will find some spots are thinner than the other spots. All the edges are beautiful, thin as well. We are almost there. So the length of the noodles strips should be like this. This is the wide. So I'm going to fold it in this way so I can cut them diagonally. Beautiful thin section. So fold it like this so it makes easier when we cut. Cut it into beautiful thin strip. This is the length. You can decide yourself or you can fold it in two. In this way you have a shorter sec uh, section and this makes it easier when you cut it. Don't press too hard with your other hand, otherwise the dough can stick to each other. As you can see, they are beautifully thin. You can do like this, so they come loose from each other between your fingers. If some stick to each other, just do it with your hands. You can also dry them up. They are quite thin as you can see. So you don't need to boil this fresh, beautiful, thin noodles too long. One minute boiling is all good. Now I'm going to turn on the fire to the biggest. So it boil again because we are going to um, add the last ingredients such as garlic and peppers. Add them to the soup, mix them again. When it starts to boil again, you can take out the bones from the soup. In this way, we can boil the noodle easily you can take out the bone they are really soft now you can fine chop the meat and add it to the soup as well 
Now we are going to add the noodle and when you add the noodle, add it to, to the boiling section so it doesn't stick to each other and because of the boiling, they will come loose. And don't forget to mix it. Look at this. They are beautiful. Beautiful texture in the noodle as well. I'm going to take it out and add it to a bowl. Purjasuyukash is ready. It looks so good. This is perfect for in the summer, also in the spring, in this season. I hope you like this recipe. It's called in Uyghur Hardok Eshi. It means when you feel very tired and after travel, you can eat this food and it makes you very relaxed and comfortable. I hope you like this recipe. Thank you again and see you next week. Bye!